Hi! Today I'm going to show three different ways to form coils. I love using coils. I use them in stained glass projects, sculptures, dream catchers, and electroculture gardening. For doing these coils that I'm going to show you today, I'm going to be using 18 gauge bare copper wire, but you can use anywhere between 11 and 22 gauge. So here is the top of an electroculture gardening, and here's a dream catcher. I just love to use the little twists up at the top and around the middle, and it's a lot of fun. This one right here is with a lot of solder added to it to give it that old vintage railing type look. Number one is a freehand method that you can use with just simple pliers. Um, needle nose or those rounded needle nose pliers that I'm gonna be using are very handy for this. So I'm starting off with a piece of 18 gauge copper wire and I have those rounded needle nose pliers right there and I'm wrapping the wire around the pliers with the thickness of a plier um, at times to give that nice even gap. And then I'm doing it a lot by hand. If you start off with a big spool of wire like, like what's shown in this picture, it helps keep that circle going. So as you notice here, I'm actually using the side of the pliers to keep that constant gap between the two coils. I like to use other pliers to flatten out the coils if this is the type of coil I want. So as you can see, I use these, these larger pliers and just kind of flatten them out at times. And that gives a very nice symmetrical coil that is great for lots of projects. Now I'm showing you how to, just with a pair of pliers and your fingers, do a coil and then this one will be one of those three-dimensional coils like I showed you with that gardening copper electroculture gardening unit. You can actually use the thickness of the wire itself to help you make the coil. So I'm just wrapping it around itself and then pulling the middle out to make a nice coil. Sort of like a, a spring that is not just symmetrical all the way, it has a taper to it, which is just a lot of fun for different projects. So I'm using bigger pliers this time to help start the, the coiling process. Then I'm just pulling the center out and kind of evening it up to make a fun design.
This time I'm using 14 gauge wire for the base of this gardening spike unit. And you can see that I'm using the same technique of just wrapping the wire around itself to get the coil. And then just pulling the, the ends to get the nice shape. I've used the same technique with this project, which was the top of a wind chime, and that was with a 12 gauge um, half hard wire, which really kept its shape nicely. So you can see you can have a lot of fun with, with just using pliers. Now, if you want them more symmetrical, you could use a metal tapered object. This one right here is what you'd use to set nails. So it's just a metal tapered nail setting device that I wrapped the 18 gauge wire around and then just pulled them out. Then this makes a very symmetrical cone shaped coil which is very fast and easy to make if you happen to have a metal armature to work off of. This right here is actually one of those metal things you'd use as an ear gauge and that worked very nice too. Now this third method is you can buy these jigs that are made to wrap wires around for this for these electroculture projects that people enjoy making. And this again is with 14 or even 12 gauge wire because usually at the bottom of one of these gardening um, projects you want them to be a little bit stronger than just 18 gauge. These are really easy to use. They come in different colors and sizes and you just wrap them around and they already make the form that we're looking for without having to stretch out the coil that you created and straighten them and all that. So they come out very symmetrical to begin with. The next project that I will be showing will be highlighting these electroculture gardening projects. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have fun. Bye-bye.